When Doom Eternal launched back in March, I had an idea of starting a YouTube channel dedicated to console slayers. Granted, I may not always base my videos all around console Doom Eternal, as I like to have a little more variety in my videos. But making console slayer guides is something I've always wanted to do ever since I got super involved with the battle mode community. And that's where I made this video, my first console slayer guide. Now keep in mind, this was made back in May when I was still playing Doom Eternal with a hand injury and the meta of battle mode was still relatively new. I'm happy that people are still discovering this video and leaving me comments about me helping them learn something new from it and it makes me glad that compared to my videos now, that video was rather choppy and rushed, but people still got something out of it. So I've decided that for some of the tips and guides I've shown in that video alone, I will be revisiting them. So much has been done and so much has been learnt that this video alone doesn't bring any justice to some of the sweet tech you can accomplish on console. I was hoping to get started on these earlier, but due to working at a new full-time job now, time has been rather scarce. But I hope these will help you on your journey to becoming one of the greatest slayers in battle mode, or to even help you complete the campaign on higher difficulties. Quick swapping is essential when it comes to utilizing your arsenal to its fullest. Each weapon has been crafted to deal with multiple engagements, situations, or even as a means of escaping death traps. With each weapon offering unique and reliable tools to fight the demons head on, no mod can go to waste. Some may make swapping a little quicker, some can kill enemies a lot faster, or even some can kill demons a bit safer. With Doom Eternal doubling down on resource management, quick swapping can help you obtain more resources, as well as space out your ammo between every gun, instead of running dry with the super shotgun by repeatedly using it. Now, quick swapping is easy enough to perform on PC. You simply press whichever key is binded to that gun, and you pull out that gun. You can press each key that is mapped to every single weapon and swap between all eight weapons flawlessly. However, with the controller, it's a little more difficult than that. Manageable, but difficult. You see, there's only eight buttons that you need to swap between each weapon, and all that has been dumbed down to just one button. This little button right here is what you can use to access your entire arsenal of weapons. Not as fast as you can on PC, but still relatively fast. Okay, so to be able to quick swap is fairly simple. Using the button that's assigned to weapon wheel, simply press and hold it down, and a wheel will show up in front of you. Now, what you want to do is use the right analog stick, the one you use to look around with, and aim it towards whichever weapon you'd like to choose. So, let's say this combat shotgun I'm using right now isn't doing much for me. So I'll choose the more powerful shotgun. Much bigger kick with that one, but I'm burning through my ammo and I want to use my sticky bombs. Because I swapped from a combat shotgun to a super shotgun, I don't have to open up the weapon wheel. Instead, I can just tap the weapon wheel button and it will swap to my previously used weapon. And if I want to go back to the super shotgun to use the meat hook, then I just tap the weapon wheel button again. I can swap between these two without a problem. I could use the meat hook to swing around a demon and then use sticky bombs with my combat shotgun to take care of some fodder. Also, if you're new to Doom Eternal and may not know how to properly use the meat hook yet, be sure to check out my console slayer guide on how to use the meat hook. It's worth a look and you'll learn a lot about its properties and fundamentals. Alright, so as I was saying, I could shoot with one gun and then swap to the other like you can on PC. And it's a lot quicker this way too. Swapping between both guns through the weapon wheel is a bit slower, and when you're fighting a demon duo on battle mode, you're gonna want to be quick and precise with your swaps, so you can get back to focusing on that demon duo and take them down. Now you heavily rely on swapping between your previous weapons for quick swapping, so the best way to get your desired choice of two weapons is by pre-selecting them. So let's say I have a plasma rifle and a rocket launcher. But there's a Marauder in front of me, and I'd like to use the good old Super Shock on a Ballista on him. So what I do is open the weapon wheel, pick the Super Shotgun, and then open up the weapon wheel again and pick the Ballista. Now that the Super Shotgun was my previous weapon, I can fire my Ballista, and then swap to the Super Shotgun, and then back to the Ballista. Easy as that! Because the weapon wheel is kind of slow to use and to swap in between, 
you should try and memorize where each weapon is located. From there, you can easily open the weapon wheel, and as soon as the wheel opens, tap in the direction of the weapon that you want, and quickly swap to it. Now it may take a while to memorize where each weapon is, but here's an easier way to remember which weapon is in which direction. For starters, know your directions. The whole weapon wheel is a, a wheel. So we'll first memorize the starting points for each standard weapon. So imagine a cross on your analog stick. North, east, south, and west. Each point of that cross has a weapon that is a standard weapon meaning it's not as powerful and doesn't use that much ammunition. North is combat shotgun, east is heavy cannon, south is plasma rifle, and west is rocket launcher. In between those crosses are much powerful weapons that use the same ammunition the standard weapon uses, except for the rocket launcher. So looking down at the analog, we already know what north, east, south, and west are. So northeast is super shotgun, southeast is chain gun, Southwest is Ballista, and Northwest is BFG and on Maker. Let's say I want the Heavy Cannon and Ballista. Well, I know the Heavy Cannon is a standard weapon, and the Ballista is a power weapon. So I'll aim to the right, and then aim to the bottom left corner. And now I have them pre-selected, and can swap between them easily. Maybe I don't want to waste this Ballista, and want to use the Super Shotgun with the Heavy Cannon. Because I've already selected one of them, I can just tap the button to go back to the heavy cannon, pull up the weapon wheel, and again, standard shotgun at north, power shotgun at northeast. So I aim there without having to look for the gun, and now I can swap between both guns. Granted, this will take a while to master, but it's good practice, and I recommend you try this out for yourself in single player with the unlimited ammo cheat. And there you go! You can quick swap your weapons on the fly, and it shouldn't be a problem to access each weapon quickly when you need it the most. However, that's not all. For quick swapping, you gotta swap around your weapons and use every tool available at your disposal. But what type of weapon combos can you use? Horsey sauce. With the large variety of weapons and mods at your disposal, to successfully take out any big and spongy demons, you gotta mix and match your utilities in order to effectively and quickly take them down. There are two combos people like to commonly use, Ballista and Super Shotgun for that high damage, and Precision Bolt and Ballista for that quick yet effective damage per second, or as commonly referred to as DPS. A weapon combo, especially on console, consists of using two pre-selected weapons and tapping the previous weapon button in between shots. Let's take a look at comboing weapons with the Precision Bolt. The Precision Bolt is arguably the best mod to combo with due to its properties. You can cancel its long little reload timer by swapping to another weapon and it has the quickest swapping speed after firing a shot. To put that into perspective, let's say I had to deal with this Arachnotron and I only use the Super Shotgun. I can use up a ton of shotgun shells, plus I have to wait for the reload animation to finish I'm more vulnerable to a crowd of demons crawling around me, and could potentially get killed by that. But, if I were to combo with the Precision Bolt, I could deal more damage at a faster rate, cancel the reload animation for both weapons, and take care of that pesky Arachnotron much quicker. I save more ammo from my shotguns, and can engage other enemies a lot faster. It's best to pair up the Precision Bolt with other powerful weapons, such as the Super Shotgun I previously mentioned, the Ballista, and even the Rocket Launcher. For other standard weapons, you have to fire a long stream of shots in order to effectively damage an enemy, but using the Precision Bolt as a combo starter greatly increases the DPS with other power weapons. And speaking of DPS, there's a combo that's the king of DPS due to its insane damage output and speed, and I'm going to show you how to properly perform it with a controller. Okay, so the combo I'm referring to is the Precision Bolt and Rock combo, where you could shoot both weapons in like under a second. I don't know, I haven't timed it myself. Now there's a certain pattern you gotta learn when pressing these three buttons. Weapon mod, firing the weapon, and swapping to the previously used weapon. The timing is a bit tight, you have to tap your swap button in between your shots. If you accidentally double tap the swap button before firing, you'll break the pattern and could risk the weapon wheel popping up and accidentally swapping to a weapon you don't want. Granted, the only way you'll get good with this is by doing it yourself. Duh. 
but I figured out a way to replicate the same motion you would do to perform the high DPS combo. So let's say you're bored, or you're impatiently waiting for something. Normally, you would do this motion with your fingers, right? Tapping your fingers against the surface, but not all of them hit the ground at the same time. This exact same motion is what you'll want to do on the controller, just with your other finger tapping at the side. It's kind of like playing a piano. Once you get into the groove of things for one hand, you can focus on the other easily. But as long as you do this exact same motion and give it a ton of practice, you'll be able to perform this combo no problem. And that's how you quick swap on console. It's all about memorizing weapon placements on the wheel, what combos to use, and the pattern you must adapt even for the highest DPS possible. It may not be the quickest compared to PC, but still viable and effective against some of the best battle mode demon players, or demons in general. If you like this guide, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, if not, a thumbs down. Do let me know in the comments down below if this helped you out. Be sure to check me out on my other socials, as well as on Twitch. I recently became affiliated and got a sweet emote if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep slaying.